Hey YouTubers, welcome to part two. We're gonna see what we can power with this thing. The video runs a little long because I'm not just gonna tell you it works, I'm gonna show you. All right, my laptop here will charge with USB-C, so I'm gonna plug it in here. See how many watts it draws. On 14 watts, battery is at 72%. Weak charging state, please check power charger. So it's pulling 56 watts now. I'm gonna plug in the normal charger for the PC, 63 watts, it's pulling. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make pasta and we're gonna power it with the Delta II and see how it works. It's taking 628. It says it'll run for an hour. So that's at 800 degrees or is that watts? I don't know. Okay. I, I really don't know. It's got to be degrees because Must it's be. 627 watts. Mm -hmm. Let's go to 1,000. Usually I go up to 1,200 to get the water boil. It's over 1,000. Fan kicks on. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. How but it'll last 52 minutes, is it? That's, you know? that's crazy how fast you would drain that using an induction burner. Right. Now, if you're getting a ton of solar, sure. you know, if you're getting 200 watts of solar with the solar panel. Yeah, in about a minute, it's taken a percent already. That's right. interesting. Well, fortunately, with induction, it boils quickly. It's sticking at 1034. I will come back and give an update. I'm not going to use up my whole card to do this. I guess I could put it fast forward for you to watch it go down. All right, I decided to keep it running. In case you're gonna buy one of these things, you wanna know if it actually works, it works. We were able to power it to do this. You'll see, keep watching. Yes. Put it in. It's boiling. Yes, it's boiling. It's boiling. Oh, 77%. All right, YouTubers, the battery died, so I had to plug it in, so we'll keep this recording. It is boiling and the pasta is in. Again, not sponsored, just buy it if you want it, but I recommend it, it. It sure doesn't, it's not performing as it normally would at 1400. Okay, so. So even though it's supposed to go up to 1800, it does not seem like it has the normal power that it should have. Right, and as we said, YouTubers, it looks like this EcoBoost they use kind of cuts back the amps. It's, it's still telling you it's giving you the watts you want, but it's cutting back the power, so things will function. It just doesn't appear that they're gonna function as well as normal out of a household outlet. But it's used 35% of the battery over the course of this. We stopped timing, maybe it's been 10 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. So again, it's what kind of what we thought is it'll do it in a pinch kind of thing. Right. If you're willing to use up this much of your battery to boil water. I'm going to let it keep going. Can they see the um, pan with the boiling? You want see to the boil? pan and the thing. All right, we're back. Can it's they, only been a second. They, they can see, yeah. They can see the bubbling? To me, like when this is plugged in, it looks to me like when, it's, when I have it on 800. And right now it's on 1400. So, I don't know. Without a fancy amp meter like Hobotech guy would have, right. we can't really tell you how much power it's really given it. So that's that's forty percent of the battery right there. Wow. Well, and this it's is, a big battery. This is really good information for me to have, so I'm sure. not figuring this out when I'm out out and about somewhere. You know. Right. 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 This may basically be, you know. For my fridges. Well, I'm I'm hoping for mine that it'll do my coffee pot. That'd be a good thing for me. A whole fancy French press, all that kind of stuff. I just want a normal cup of freaking coffee. The eco flows give you good it options. It did it. It made it. It did. You know. Now you just need, you know, eight hours to charge the <laughs> solar panel. Back. All right, YouTubers, we'll be checking more stuff. All right, I have my laptop plugged in, but I actually unplugged it because it was fully charged. And we have this charging 
and we have it set to slow charge and it's gonna take it about an hour. Once this laptop loses a little bit of its juice, I wanna plug it in and see how many watts it pulls while charging to make sure it does both, which I'm sure it does. That's what we made using the EcoFlow. Yum. YouTubers, uh, we're gonna charge this. Well, oh, that is watts. 33. All right, we're gonna use the EcoFlow River 2 to make coffee. This is not the van coffee pot. Um, I'll do that later. I also wanna say you can see it's at 95%. That's because I left the AC inverter on for probably about three hours. So it does have a pretty big draw even when it's not in use. So, okay, we're gonna plug this coffee pot in and see what it does. Turned it on. It's using 806 watts. I don't know. I looked at the bottom of the Mr. Coffee coffee pot to see what the voltage was and uh, I can't remember, you can hear it making coffee. So we're gonna let that go. And maybe if I get lucky, I'll check the pot at the end and see if I can find the voltage for it. All right, let's watch it make coffee. All right, I'm leaving it running so that it's a real world test. You can see now in real time, it's eating through that battery. It's got it pretty much maxed out. But it's making coffee, so there's that. I could tell you these things, but it's a video, so we show things in videos. All right, this cable is to charge the GoPro because GoPros are still terrible. Batteries are terrible. It's supposed to have been fully charged and it just discharged. So, um, you know, it's maybe a minute. It's maxing out at 800 watts. It's probably over that, but the amps are probably down and it's down to 77% and it's made about eight of the 12 cups so far. I'll let it keep going. I'm showing this because as soon as I post it, somebody will say, well, I tried it and it didn't work. So I'm showing you that it works for me. All right, it has made a full pot of coffee. It's at 66%. It was at 90%. So it used about 30% of this battery. It's not using any power to keep it warm. Now I'm gonna go plug this in, charge it, and we're gonna play with some other things. I can make coffee, and the pot is hot. Now I'm gonna do a test, because I'm kind of that person that I just can't watch uh, stuff on my phone, so I need, uh, I need TV when I go RVing. A lot of people don't like that idea, but that's what I need, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a movie. Let's turn this on. I'm gonna play a movie, like a two hour movie, I think. Free Solo, which I recorded. All right, so far you can We're see- We're pulling about 32 watts. Gonna jump around. It says this'll go for 16 hours. All right, there it goes. Man, I don't think there's a more beautiful place than Yosemite. All right, so it's pulling 28 watts. I'm gonna let this whole thing go. I'm not gonna record it all. I'm gonna watch somebody do something that I would love to have the courage to do, but I do not at all. It's the exact opposite of me. I'm not a heights person. This movie can make your hands sweat control your mind, I guess. You're not, you're not All right, YouTubers, I kind of messed up. The movie ended and I wasn't watching it and it went down to 91%. I don't think it even took that much, but this is not gonna be a problem. I got 16 hours left, so I'll be able to watch all the things I wanna watch because again, I can't do it on a phone. I don't know how you people do it. I just can't watch a movie on a phone. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this sucker on. I got hooked up to the hot plate to the induction cooktop. Got this on, I'm gonna turn it on. See what I can get it to do. Okay, I got it at 400. Let's pull 100 and 200, 500. Jumps around a lot if you can see that. 
turn it up to 600. It's not gone over the 800 watts yet. So I could use it up to there, 800 watt, 800 degrees on this has not gone over 800, which again, I'm sure it will. So that's still below its highest output. This says 1000, there it jumped over 800. I got some, just some water in that pan. So it looks like I could easily use it at this setting and now it goes back to where it is probably giving you less amps oh I just got an error ah that's interesting okay if you can see this when it goes to there a thousand it works fine without any problems when I turn it up 1200 right at see right there it gives me the e4 when that goes off it goes to zero watts so this is shutting off then it turns itself back on see zero and then it turns itself back on yeah so it looks like her bigger one is bigger for a reason I'll try it on my induction cooktop and see if it does the same because all this basically keeps doing is turning on and off. It's also running my battery down, but that's fine. We're actually going to pick up her van, so I'm going to practice recharging this in the van. The water is hot. You can't see it. I just touched it in there. The water is hot. Yeah, I went all the way up to max and it kind of went overload. See there, it's drawing power. A thousand, when I do a thousand, it keeps going. Okay. Uh, 1200, starts, see, E4, oh. then it shuts shuts down. Okay. Turns back on, clicks, shuts back down. Mm -hmm. But when I went max, mm -hmm. it like overloaded the battery. I don't know if I should do it again. I, I wish you wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it again. Okay. That's not really my new battery, right, right YouTubers? So apparently this worked pretty well on hers. She didn't go up to full power either. But on mine, when I go above a thousand on this one, it uh, it does not like that. But like I said, the water is hot. So I could, I could use it to cook on this, but um, I don't think I could get it blazing hot. All right, that's enough of that. We're gonna get ready to go, GoPro. All right, YouTubers, now we're going to test something else. There's the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. It's at 99%. And over here is my RV coffee pot. And this cord just barely is going to make it. And it'll be difficult to film, but we're going to try to uh, make a pot of coffee with this. This is a Black & Decker Space Maker. And I don't remember what the wattage is, but... This EcoBoost thing should make it make coffee like it did on the other pot. But I need this one to work for me to be happy when I'm fanning around. It's pulling 808 watts. Let's see if it starts making coffee, making noises. Takes a little bit to heat up. There it goes. It's making coffee, making noises. Now the fan's kicking on. It's already down to 96%. Wish I had a better way to video this for you. I saw it. 93%. Saying it can do this for 41 minutes. All right, it's at about four cups it's made, maybe. See, it's just above that band. I'm sure, it's getting hot enough. at eight cups 79 percent battery using 802 watts if you can hear it it's almost done 
I want to see if it's when it's done brewing if the battery goes down the amount of power it's using. There it went down to 69 watts. So it is done brewing. Now that's just to keep it warm. It says it's got two hours left. So it used 27% of my battery to make a pot of coffee. Oh no, it's it's going high and going low again. Okay, if you can see it on the app, it's saying it's got five hours and twenty-nine minutes left. It's pulling sixty-nine watts. Here it's saying five hours left, sixty-nine watts, seventy-two percent. And the app says it's got seventy-two percent. So to make a pot of coffee. I didn't need to do this because I'm not camping camping today, but we're getting ready to go. It's good to know. I'm going to turn the coffee pot off. Went down to zero watts. Turn this off. And I'm going to disconnect. And I'm going to take the coffee pot inside. And I'm going to drink some coffee. Let's go make some coffee. This is exactly what I despise on some people's videos. Fake sugar, creamer, all day. Coffee we just made. I'm spilling all over the place. When I see people do this, it just seems so pretentious. Where do I go? I'll clean it up later. Let's taste it. It's hot and it tastes like coffee. It only used 28% of my battery to make that coffee. But if I don't want to run a generator, I can make coffee. Go. So you can do a lot of things with this. You can make pasties, which are wonderful. You can use the solar panel to recharge your batteries. It's awesome. And as I showed you in part one, the 220 watt solar panel is a bit heavy and quite large, but the great side of that is you can charge from zero to 100% in decent sun in three and a half hours. Game changer for van life and RVing. Standard connectors. We even used it to try to charge a Blue Eddy, and it worked fine other than it seems Blue Eddy has a governor. It wouldn't charge more than about 125 watts. Hey, not complaining. You can charge all your other devices, other solar generators with it. And here's a little hack we made. Um, like I said, it's really tough to open the panels up. So we use this pool noodle to kind of keep them straight. We ended up putting pool noodles on both the top and the bottom. Also keeps it kind of out of the dirt and it should protect the panel. You can steal that if you buy these. Pretty useful hack for this and probably any solar panel to keep them protected. All right, so here's the point to brag about these EcoFlow 220 watt panels. Actually, at one point we got 228 watts, but we weren't filming. But here's documented just under 200 watts. I got to say, that really impressed me, especially being like near Lake Superior in northern Michigan. Well, I'm going to let this keep running. You can see it's flicking back and forth just under 200 watts. But why I'm showing you this is, again, I'm not sponsored by EcoFlow. I got no skin in this game. I'm just trying to share with you something that could work. And why do we want to share things like this? because it's all about you finding new ways to go out and enjoy nature, getting out there and experiencing the cool parts of van and RV life. Keep your pets safe and cool. They're really important little things you can buy. You can do it without this stuff, but it's good to have and it makes your life better. So you might like Jackery or Blue Eddy or something different than the EcoFlow. I still recommend the EcoFlow. Even if I was building out a van instead of putting in a solar thing, I think I would just go with one of these you know, you can get big ones now that would power everything. Just seems like a good way to go. Basically, it's a fantastic way to charge all the toys you take with you. Food, fans, whatever toys you need to take, you can power them with these. So you can do your why. Get out in nature, people. I think that's what every gadget is for, from your RV down to a flashlight. is so you can get out in nature and see beautiful things like this. I think they're the coolest things. They do so much for the environment, ecosystem and all that. So use a tool like this to go out to beautiful places, to dance under the moonlight, to inflate a kayak and just see beautiful things. That's what these tools are for. 
So this video kind of encapsulates all I try to do on YouTube, sharing cool little devices that will make your life a little bit better so you can go to amazing, beautiful places yourself, all in the hopes of another great and wonderful day.